Well, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. But like, you know, sometimes like and when we're talking about inclusiveness and education and stuff like that, like the one question that I get all the time is like, how do you respond to Cuban smokers? And it's like, well, I mean, you like what you like. Right. The best cigar is the one that you enjoy. Right. right? Yeah. What I will say is like the question that I always ask, if you tell me that you only smoke Cubans, my question to you will be, how do you know they're special if you don't smoke anything mm, else? Yep. Mm-hmm. What's so great about them? Yeah. I think there well, is a little magic to Cubans. I, uh, I had the opportunity to smoke some Cubans when I was uh, outside of the U.S., and I think I wanted there to be magic, and, and I paid an ac- absolute premium for those cigars, so I wanted, I wanted more out of it. And the time that I was smoking that that Cuban, I really appreciated it, and I felt like I was participating in something that was are you you know history. And are you ready for this conversation? Maybe. Do, do you want to do this I, I can. Yeah, I can neither it. confirm nor no, deny that the Cubans. I, I can neither confirm nor deny that We're the Cubans I have in my cigar humidor yeah. were brought over on U.S. U.S. military hardware. We're, yeah. So yeah. no, I mean, I I have Cubans as well. I smoke Cuban yeah. tobacco. I mean, what I will tell you from a technical aspect, there is one characteristic that can't be, that cannot be duplicated when it comes to Cuban tobacco, and it is the saltiness of the tobacco. There is a saltiness to it. The the, the closest cigar that I've ever had that's come close has been the Aladino Cameroon. Hmm. Right. What I will tell you is that the majority of what you're being sold as Cuban cigars now are not even predominantly Cuban tobacco anymore. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. So they're sourcing from the Dominican and Honduras and stuff like that. So that, you know, you're paying all that exponential for the pomp and circumstance, right? Well, see, what I was told years ago is that uh, way, way back, a long time ago, I don't remember exactly what year it was, but... Uh, there was a blight that took out a lot of the Cuban crops, and a lot of the really good tobacco that's supposed to be the magic stuff is actually long gone. It's just uh, it was just destroyed by this um, ick. Uh, so, the Cuban or the tobacco that's coming out of Dominican Republic and Nicaragua these days is actually much better than that level of of cigar. So, if you do find a really good Cuban, it's it's kind of a rarity actually there are some good cubans out there but the really good ones i think they're long gone yeah i mean i agree with you but i think to your point where the reason that nicaraguan tobacco and dominican tobacco are surpassing them is because it's not it's not a a government ran money machine right right? right. so like you have farmers that are cultivating their talents and they're they're taking time and and aging and and walking through processes it's not rapid fire well i've also heard that the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua have kept up with the agricultural absolutely technology. Yes, absolutely. Where Cuba has not had that access to that information. Exactly, yeah. But they don't even have the time for it. Or the because time they're for trying it. to keep up with demand and they're just pushing yeah. stuff out. Right. right. Mm-hmm. And it's still illegal to own Cubans in the United States. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there is well, the it's, personal it's, use, but that's yeah. subjective to whatever border <laughs> control agency. Well, there's there's well, other things that fall say, into that that's, category that's too. That's actually because I. In, in March, I was in Jamaica uh, with my wife, and I actually bought a box of Cubans, um, and they were legit. I even, you know, I, I went through some due diligence. Even after I bought it, I was like, are these really Cubans? We totally believe Lee. And, and, yeah. Yep. So, uh, but I, I know, that's, a, know that's, a guy who's a tobacconist who used to work at Aaron, yeah. used to work at mm-hmm. Emerson. And I sent him a picture, and he said, take a picture of the cap. And I took a picture of the cap and sent it to him. He goes, those are genuine Cubans. Yeah. I said, okay, great. They were good. They weren't great. They didn't blow my socks off. They were good sticks for vacation, mm-hmm. to sit on a beach with my wife and just enjoy the day. Yeah. But then I started kind of freaking out. I mean, if I got I to get these things back in the country. Nah. And so I, in, in all the reading that I did, um, and probably two full days of reading trying to figure this shit out, is – there was a time when we lifted the trade embargo. Well, the, the, the trade embargo was never lifted. No. But they didn't. They, they did relaxed include the a, trade embargo for personal use. Yes. Right. Yeah. But in 2019, it was closed again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Personal use is closed again. Yeah. 
but very rarely. I mean, it all it all it's all dependent. It on depends the, on who's yeah. You know, right. when, as you're coming through the gate. That's you right. so worst case an, scenario, you're gonna just hand them in, and the guards are gonna have some great cigars. <laughs> you know, yeah, later right. that night, the TSA people that's are right. just gonna be loving it up. That. You touched on another subject that uh, is is also a thing too. Is that you go to some countries, and if you're not careful about where you're buying the cigars from. What they'll do is they'll pick Dominican or Nicaraguan cigars off the shelf, take the band off of it, put another band on it, and sell it as a Cuban for yeah. a higher price. Yeah. So you got to watch out for that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of overseas horror so stories. Quote Jimmy Buffett was it a Jamaica mistake? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. They, I think I think I was good. All right. And I got I got a full box back in. Um, You're a pirate. I'm a pirate. I'm an nice. absolute pirate. 